Well, hello everyone, and uh, the Karak Goob Karak has been added to the 3.8.2 PTU, so I thought it was about time. We gave this a wee sort of look around. I must admit, I was a wee bit naughty, and I've already, last night when it was first added, I already had a quick wee nosy round myself. Oh, our landing areas are currently full. Please hold for assignment. Oh no! Unfortunately. Our automated system is unable to access that ship at this time. Position and queue. Uh, lots of people are. Lots of people are gooping Karak right now. Um, position and queue too. I've never had this before, so do I just sit here waiting? Maybe I should try a different server. I don't know. I guess I'll be back in a second. <laughs> Finally, we have it. It's been about 20 minutes for me. Oh, higher five. You may even notice I'm in a different location. <sighs> then we'll just we'll just say it's been a wee bit of an ordeal. Literally everyone in the kitchen sink right now is going gab 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 the car arc. In the spaceports, like Port Ulsar right now. So I tried coming to this different one, Lurville. But yes, I must admit myself, I'm the Karak is a ship I've always been slightly interested in, but I've never been a member of the Goob Karak Club. But with all the line lightings we've been getting recently and what I've got to see of it. I would definitely consider myself a sympathizer to the Goob Karak cause now it is. Yeah, it's a wee bit jittery. I noticed that last night too. They need to sort the landing gear a wee bit. Seems to be a wee bit bouncy. But oh my word, it is a nice looking ship. Take a quick look around the exterior before we go to the interior. You know what? Screw looking around it. We can do a quantum jump and see it there. Now, is this the ramp? Or is the ramp at the back? There's the ramp. Okay. Whoa! Don't kill me! Don't kill me! Don't kill me. And yeah, there we go. With the ramp lowered, you can see. Oh, it's actually not being that jittery day anymore. Hey, the jittering stopped. Very nice. Let's go up. The ramp to close. Where's the ramp close button? Is there a ramp close button up here? There is a ramp close button here. Close the door. Very nice. This is your bay for your Ursa rover, and we're on the bottom floor. There's four floors for this behemoth. Um, so powers out an elevator. Well, space to climb up. We're not going to do so. We're giving you access to all the floors. What's back here? We have the elevator we could call, which I'm not going to for now. We have a docking collar. Double doors, very nice, just to help keep that pressure seal. We got a uh, little areas for us to put our suits. You see, we'll sort of stand here, then we'll come get them. One, two, three, four, five, six. Well, five, not six. A little locker. Very nice, very nice indeed. Then we got all oh, the cargo areas. These are like those. Yeah. These are modular. Whoa. What happened there? Oh, and these are the new elevators type things we're going to get for everything soon. 
Very nice. And these are like modular. You will be able to like drop them off and they'll be full of cargo and yeah. Doesn't seem to be perfect about the elevators here yet though. To the catwalk. I think there's three of these. Double doors again. Because you will be able to drop these off. Yep. And a third one. Yes, a third one. And here we go. We see there's more suits. Space for suits. How many damn... Oh, the utility of this ship is through the roof. A weapons locker as well. Very nice. Oh, look at all that. Oh, and it even moves forward. Nice little touch there. Right, eh. Uh, access to the aft turret. Yeah, when we're done, we'll take a quick look at the... See if we can see what size guns everything is and all that. There's them, the other weapon lockers. Is this the elevator? We will now call the elevator. And it's the new UI for the elevators, which is kind of good. If I can get it to work. Oh, sorry. There we go. Happy days. Right. That's the sub deck. Let's go to the habitation deck. Up we go. And you got to remember as well, this is all with the lights off. We'll get to... When we get to the ship, we maybe... We'll take off and... You know what I mean? We'll get to the flight deck. The command deck. The bridge. There we go. Words. Good thinking. We can turn all the ship's lights on in that. And I think we'll take off. As you can see there, there's like a tinted window to allow light through, but not quite to see perfectly. Except I noticed, I see one error. The tinted window, window effect. When you see the other tinted window through, it takes away the tinted window effect. Oh, that's silly. That's silly. Little things like that will need to be fixed. Should be the same the other side, but what is in here? Ah yes, this is our medical bay. And you got the two tier one medical beds, then in here you got the much more advanced medical bed with this big MRI type machine here. Oh look at this panel. It lit up for a second there. Don't know what that did, but I pushed the button. Emergency treatment. And here you got your operators for the MRI type thing. Very nice. Engineer access only. Big. Whoa, whoa. Lag spike. Syringes, gloves, lots of medical type stuff. A little lab. Service access. And over here, this looks like another medical sort of lab, but with more sort of focus on plants. Maybe some medicine growing in from them. I don't know. These lockers. They look like sun anyway, but I can't open them for now at least. Fire extinguisher. O2. Uh -huh. Very nice little medical lab. And without the power on, it's nice and brightly lit. So maybe it runs on emergency or something if the power ships off. What are you? I said to open door. Okay, sound effects playing, but door won't open. So that's back the way we came. Whoa! Yeah, I was just wondering if it was that door I was doing it instead. I don't think it's much behind that door. I think it's the elevator access. That's sort of, not the elevator, the walkway type access. So here we got like a sort of living area. Like uh, some storage, sink, kitchen. More kitcheny type stuff. One, two, three, four, five, six. I don't know. That looks like they're coffee holders or something. No, coffee cup holders or something. I don't know what they are. Ensure clear caution. Noodle things, plates. Very nice. So a little kitchen and eating area. Thank you. All. Now here we got the. Table! Fancy a wee game. Can't wait for them to like make stuff like that playable in the game. Actually, just work. Right, what's behind here? Here we have a, a kitchen, a bathroom. 
I really like that big sink with the notorious star citizen mirrors that don't show you because I'm a vampire. A vampire. Yeah, yeah, nice towels, it's this sort of thing. Now these little cubicles. Toilets, is it a shower toilet combo? No, it just looks like they're just toilets. Doors shut on their own. Right. What have we got on this side? Ah, is it sleeping area? Bed, one, two, couch, three, four, five. So five beds here. I want to be this guy. Oh, look, TV in his bed. Do they all get TVs in their bed? They all get TVs in their bed. Very nice. We've got another little bathroom. Are these ones showers? These ones are showers. So we've got a shower room and we've got a toilet room, I'm going to call it. Look at that, everyone's got slippers. It's just a little touches like that. Everybody has slippers. Well, they look more like... They look more like sandals than slippers, but yeah. Because they're sitting there in a bathroom, I'm calling them slippers. Or bathies. Alright, what else do we have? This is a big ship, it's taking a while to explore us. What do we have in here? Oh, the captain's cabin! I am the self-important captain. But at the moment does not look like my room is that good because all the lights are off. But I don't know why the captain has this accent. He just does. It sounds like I'm trying to do a French accent, but I'm super fail at doing a French accent. I don't know if it was meant to be a French accent. It doesn't sound anything like one at all now. It just sort of evolved into its own sort of thing. I'd say the captain's bedroom is a wee bit lackluster. What is this? It's a door. Let's get his own closet. Especially, uh... Yeah. But then it's not meant to be a luxury ship, is it? Gets his own bathroom. His own shower and his own toilet. This is nice. Yeah, this is worthy of the captain. Everyone else has to all muck in together, but he gets his own stuff. Nice terminal. The actual, the sort of office type bit is good. Just the actual bedroom, it just feels a wee bit small, a wee bit lackluster. But again, it's not meant to be a luxury vessel. It's his own private space, which no one else in the ship has their own private space. So yeah, it's very important. Right, so we've got an elevator that will probably lead to the upper area of the bridge. We've got the lower area of the bridge now, and this is one of the things I like doing. Just look at that. I feel like I'm standing on nothing. I thought I was literally about to run out the front of the ship there. You can barely see this glass. Very nice, very clean glass. Right, let's sit down and actually get the... Get the lights on for this puppy. Actually, you know what? Someone else might be wanting to try this bad boy out. Let's take the ship off completely. Whilst we're here, then we'll continue the tour. Where's my flight ready button? Engine on. Oh, 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 found it. I like doing it by actually pushing the button. Anvil, aerospace, all systems, online. Oh, very nice. Right, let's say... Uh... Let's get you a nice little look at the exterior of the ship. I can see the... Come on, Lion. Come on. Come on. We're getting a wee bit impatient here. Come on. Come on! Come on, doors! Come on! There's good doors. Right. Let's go. Gently, gently now. It's a big ship. We barely fit in here. Raise the landing gear. Oh, that looks saucy as hell. And away we go! Oh, she's a big beaut. Yeah, 
Ain't she a beaut? Handling's quite good for such a big ship. Considering how big she is. Right. Let's turn the nose up. You know what? Let's say uh... like so. So you can get a good view out the front, and I'm just gonna get up at that. There we go. We can see the lights are all on now. Nice. We can get a proper good look at the interior now. Oh, look at that. Oh. You're not meant. This is not meant to be one of the features of the ship. Just flying over the city and just coming out and looking down. But to me, this is a feature of the ship. And you can see the different glass a wee bit better here with the better lighting. Right. Ah, uh, these these are big blade computers that they said are going to be able to store special information. And the fact they called them blade made me wonder maybe if you could use them. For like the turret control thing that they were talking about before, maybe. What's this? Open. An access point for a component, it looks like. Right, let's say uh, call the elevator. I've seen press it lots of times and I just didn't realise that it's already worked. Right, upper bridge. So we can see here you got the gunner seat, gunner seat. Then another pilot's panel. Where you can fly from a standing up sort of point of view. With less functionality. So yeah, you don't get as much functionality, but you get a different view. Bridge. That's us on to the third deck. See so a skate pod, a skate pod, a skate pod, skate pod, a skate pod, a skate pod. Oh, the lighting now is much better. And this is a dark deck. This is the engineering deck. So in here, ah, that's the like 3D printer thing they've got, where you can like repair parts and make parts to just like if something's broken, this ship's gonna have the ability to like they rip it out, they pop it in here, they like fix it or they make a new one, and then they pop it in. Yeah, the engineering on this ship is quite advanced. It's meant to be the kind of thing that you can repair all but the like bad. You can repair almost anything apart from like hull damage, like bad hull damage type thing, to the ship or really big components can all be repaired without returning to port, which is gonna be really nice. Like. These guys are going to need to go back to port almost never. Like, once in a blue moon. Unless they're trading, then obviously they'll need to drop into port every so often. But there'll be better ships for multi crew trading out there, like a Caterpillar, for example. Right, and here, this is something that's new completely. The drones. you got these two drone pods. Uh, here, you can sort of drop the drones and pick them up without entering the vacuum of this area and then these are like the drone operator seats so i'll be quite interested to see the drone gameplay once it comes online then i take it you can sort of take them out and maybe repair them here that'd be kind of cool right so what else is on this sort of engineering deck deck three escape pods hangar ah yes the hangar very nice look open the hangar door You have your Pisces in here, or a Merlin, or an arrow would probably fit. Oh, look at that. Oh, what a view. Did that unintentionally. Look at here. 
they not open them? They are not openable. They may not be opened. And you got the hanger here. Quite a shallow depth to the hanger. But we're gonna close the hanger for when we go up to the top of the last deck and we go out onto the roof of the ship. Which I've got a feeling may give me a wee bit of vertigo. I'll be standing it'll be like standing on a wall looking down at the planet. I really hope it doesn't just Oh, what if it does? What if I fall? What if it no longer counts me being on the ship's gravity? Oh, because it does it EVAs you, I think, when you go on the roof. We'll find out what happens when we get there. But I think I'm gonna die. I think I'm gonna plummet to my death. Wait, right, whatever here. What's here? So we got another turret. We got the starboard turret. Enter the turret. I must admit, I'm at that point where, if I'm completely honest, the only thing that's stopping me being a full fledged member of the Cube Karang crew is a. Uh, Oh, look at that. It's a nice saucy exterior. Look at the city below us. The only thing stopping me is the fact that it's probably going to be a very long time till I can afford to get this either in or out again. So, yeah. I think we're in one of those wee wings now. The sort of stick at the side, like, uh, they remind me of uh, the TIE Advanced. Is it? Not a TIE Advanced. Uh, well, TIE Advanced a wee bit. The interceptor is the one I was thinking of, though. <laughs> like the wee TIE fighter, like side struts. So, where are we now? Oh! Engineering. Well, engines, not engineering. This whole deck's really engineering. And then there's another turret just over there, like so. Then let's take a look at these two big beauties the engines. Red lights, I don't like seeing red lights on my engines. Got a little service elevator. Where does that lead to, actually? I don't remember seeing... What's down here? Because yeah, I don't remember seeing... Whoa, 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 not what I meant to do. I don't remember seeing this bit on the lower floor. Oh, whatever. Yeah, so there's two floors to the engine, too. Fuel tanks. But it doesn't link up to the other part of the lower floor. Okay, good to know. Fuel tanks. Okay, cool. Take me to the upper engineering. Very nice. Right. I guess time for the final floor. The finale floor. If I remember how to get to it, I think it's this way. Here we are. Here's the elevator. Elevator, come to me! And the cartography deck. Take me to the cartography deck! If memory serves, this way! Yes it is. Here we are at the cartography deck. You've got the big cartography room. They said eventually this is going to show a picture of the system you're in, though I think it is showing the right system right now. It's even got locations and stuff there like that around the planet. That is really cool. Really cool. And then you're going to be able to use this panel. Use engineer station. Just an engineer station for now, but... Can't wait for that room to get its more functionality. We're nearly at the end of this. It's another escape pod. Couple more of them for your for your lovely, lovely needs. And it's just identical on that side. There's the elevator. Right before we go out onto the deck, because I've got a funny feeling I might fall to my death. Let's just take a quick look. Look at the vehicle loadout manager, the Anvil Carrack. Very nice. Yes, it's locked. I don't care about that. So we can see we've got a size free quantum drive. You get a nice little view of the ship here. Well, see what I mean though about uh, it's got like it reminds me of TIE Fighters a wee bit they like bits at the side it just reminds me of I'm not saying they look a lot like it it's just reminiscent of that's a good way to put it 
and systems, coolers, power plant, shield generator, but what's in weaponry? Remote turret, we got uh, size 4s. So all the guns are size 4s, okay. That's, they're still quite big. How many guns has this thing actually got? 1, 2, wait, wait, wait. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight across the four turrets. One lower, one upper, two on each of the wings. Yeah. Then it doesn't have, the pilot has no guns. But yeah, there's turrets all galore around the ship. Right. Aha! I just fall straight back in the door. Brilliant. Oh. Uh. I want to view this fourth person. So I sort of... Uh, uh. I want to explore the deck a wee bit for you, but... Well, that's a wee bit disorientating. Like, I can stand on the door. What happens if I do that? What happens if we... Oh, oh, oh. Alright, take a step that way. Whoa! Wee. Okay. For science! So, I think it's time for me to say this has been a part. I hope you've all enjoyed this. I shall see you all next time! Bye, Kang! Uh, oops. Hi, everyone.